Good morning, and welcome to the Steve Williams Cultural Memoir video. This video will be a presentation of what I have learned and reflected upon during this class. The theme of this presentation will be evolution, because I believe this class has led to a professional maturity and reflection that is beneficial to organizational management. This journey will cover the modules we have reviewed, their importance, what they've meant to me, and how they can be used, with a few twists along the way. But first, a little bit about myself. Well, I grew up in America, just outside of Emporia, was a part-time Army brat, but I was also raised by my grandmother. I was never a very devoted student, so at 18, I enrolled, enlisted in the Army, and after three years of service, I enrolled at ESU in the fall of 94. After two years, however, I did drop out, and having my share of life events in the past 20 years, I did vow that I would complete my education, so here I am. I currently live in Independence, Missouri, on the same street, just a few blocks north of where President Truman lived. I currently work at the Federal Reserve Bank of Kansas City. I have a few passions, mainly in service to others and a volunteer in several organizations to include the Kansas City English Bulldog Rescue Group, the American Legion, and the Kansas City Community Kitchen. I am a red coder with the Kansas City Chiefs. I'm a barbecue enthusiast, as well as a certified barbecue judge. So with all of that in mind, and a little background about myself, I invite you to sit back and enjoy the program. Do one thing every day that scares you. Eleanor Roosevelt. I once weighed 240 pounds and have lost 80 pounds in the last year and a half. Motivation is that driver necessary to attain a goal. Without motivation, demoralization is a considerable factor. Management can use motivation both positively via a reward system or negatively through fear to produce results. The buck stops here, Harry S. Truman. Leadership is the influence of others to achieve goals. Leadership provides direction and maintains order. Without leadership, achievement of goals is significantly reduced and complacency could become an issue. Managers could use leadership to empower employees to develop a strategy that would help the organization increase production. Can you believe I can still fit in my dress greens? There are two kinds of leaders, one on the back of the dog sled yelling mush, and another that is in the pack pulling alongside the others, but happens to be in the front. I want to be the latter. Alone, we can do so little. Together, we can do so much, Helen Keller. Teamwork is the cooperation among parties to achieve a common goal. Teamwork combines resources to produce results and share responsibilities so that no one person or division is unfairly burdened. Without teamwork, there is an increased risk of not obtaining success. If a quarterback is playing by themselves, they don't stand much of a chance Managers can use teams to complement strengths that maximize results. In any moment of decision, the best thing you can do is the right thing. The next best thing that you can do is the wrong thing. And the worst thing you can do is nothing. Theodore Roosevelt. Decision making is choosing the best possible outcome, defining problems, assessing the outcomes, than selecting the best solution. Decision making assists with maximizing results. Without decision makings, we are left to the whims of fate. Managers could use decision making to determine if they should hire a contractor or permanent employee for a new position. This could affect insurance costs, which has huge impacts. If everyone is thinking the same thing, the 
then someone isn't thinking. George S. Patton. Diversity are the variations and qualifications that make everyone unique. Diversity means that we have different strengths that can contribute to an organization. Without diversity, we risk stagnation or worse, extinction, such as a single variety of banana that becomes monocultured. Managers could use diversity to capitalize on strengths and focus on areas that need improvement. It often requires more courage to dare to do right than to fear to do wrong. Abraham Lincoln. Ethics are the set of moral principles that define right and wrong. Ethics maintains fairness and equality. Without ethics, there's chaos and a law of the jungle where only the strong survive. Managers could use ethics to demonstrate that doing things the right way is trustworthy and stable, and doing things the wrong way increase corruption and skepticism. Eloquence is the power to translate a truth into language perfectly intelligible to the person to whom you speak. Ralph Waldo Emerson. Communication is the transmission of information from one party to another. Communication maintains coordination and status of actions and deliverables. It lets the right hand know what the left hand is doing. Without communication, there is no structured environment and individuals could be endangering company goals by doing something the wrong way. Managers could use communication to email employees about an upcoming activity and what to expect. I'll leave you now so I can enjoy these delicious ribs that I can communicate will be delicious. Special thanks to my wife, Tammy, for helping me film this presentation. Have a good day.